Hello and welcome to a quick demo of Move Your Eyes News and Events system for Move Your Eyes sites. Now you can add your news panels or events panels to any page in your site um, and you can add a normal header at the top then your news panel will go in the middle and then your footer as normal at the bottom. And as you can see here we've got a sample here um, and all the news items are listed as you can see in date they were added order descending so the latest news item is first and then they go down to the earliest one last and if there's more than one page then you'll get page numbers and then you can go through the next pages and so on and then and it, it just could be lots and lots and lots of pages. Okay, so let's go to the first one again. And as you can see, the news item has the date it was um, posted, it has the title of the news item, um, and a subtitle, um, and then the text, and then you can have an image to go with it. And the image, when clicked, becomes larger, and then after a few seconds, goes back to normal size. Um, so the user can see the image attached to the news item. You also have a read more option um, where you can send them off to another link to either another site or to another page within your site or to a specific article within your site. So you can add that as well. Um, and the title is configurable so you can uh, have a different title in the top. You can also change the colors of any of the items, the uh, text, uh, title text, the boxes, everything can be customized as can the, uh, the um, text there. Um, now you can have it show all your news articles that you've added or you, you, when you add your news articles you enter them into a category. So if you wish you can have a page shows all the news categories so it'll show every news item or you can have one that just shows the news items in a specific category so for example here we have one in a, a cat here which is in a cat category so if we go to the cat news page you'll see that we have a different header for this page and we have just cat news items appearing on that page so if you had say cat news dog news bunny rabbit news or whatever you can have them all as separate categories and you don't need to show the all news page if you wish um, but the all news will then show everything in all categories so that's the news item then in the events that works in a similar way you have your title at the top and this can be any block type um, from movie rise of course um, and then your upcoming events and this time you'll see they're in the um, ascending order so the event coming up first is shown at the top followed by the next and the next and the next and so on and any event that's already passed will disappear from the list automatically so we're currently on the 27th of May so that one is showing tomorrow that one will disappear from the list automatically because that event has now passed and then the next event will then become the top one in the list so that's how the news events work and again once again you got you can customize all the colors and everything else and the image does the same thing it enlarges for a few seconds when clicked um, and again you can do the same thing you can have them in categories so if you have say events for meetings, events for fates, events for um, bingo nights or whatever the case may be you, you will enter them all into the same um, system but you can categorize them in different um, categories so we have one here that's categorized for meetings so then that will only show meetings um, this one is categorized as a meeting and the difference between the, the uh, events one and the news is instead of a subtitle you'll get the um, obviously the date of the event there you'll get the title of the event and then you'll get 
the date and time of the event and the time can be 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. it can be uh, in, in uh, whatever format you want it to be it can be in a 24 hour clock format or whatever uh, and it can be you know it could be 1 to 6 2 to 7 so on and so forth or just a specific time and then you title again you can have a read more link again which will give more details on the event um, on another page or another site or whatever the case may be and of course you can add as many of these as you wish to your site so and these can be drop down menus if you want it instead so you could have news as the title and then cats dogs bunny rabbits so on so forth in a drop down list or you could have uh, you know, upcoming events and then you could have meetings fates so on and so forth in a drop down or you can have them listed across the top as we have here so it's pretty flexible and it does mean that you can have a separate page for each type of, meet, uh, of event or each type of news if you wish okay so now let's have a quick look at the actual control panel and the control panel looks like this um, setting it up is uh, in the guide so we log in and then you have um, your different menu options here you can manage your categories so like here we had meetings, dogs, cats and general um, and you can add as many categories as you want so if you want to um, uh, face and then just add it to the list and you can deactivate those if you wish so they don't appear in the drop down when you're adding your news and events okay so if we now go to manage news here you see here is where you add your news items so if we add a news item uh, new news item we'll just call it for now um, and this is the subtitle it can be whatever you want the date you're going to post it um, so we're posting it on the 27th of May and what category it comes in it's a we'll put this one in dogs um, and then you can put the detail in here um, you, that here you would enter your more link so where you wanted it to link to um, and then you can add a picture if you wish so you just select your picture uh, we're just going to put that one in okay so the picture is now in there and we add the news item Okay, so the news item has now been added and it appears in the list here which we can edit if we wish and if we now go back to our all news you will now see here is our new item that we've just added and we need more link okay so that's that simple um, and the same thing applies to events to manage your events um, again the same thing applies the only difference here is instead of a subtitle you have a uh, time and you can enter your time then as you wish 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Saturday 3 p.m. 8 p.m. whatever you want to add in there um, and again which category um, the details and so on the more link um, and that's it if you want to make something so it stops appearing in the list because the event was cancelled or whatever then you just you can deactivate it by just clicking no and clicking update and that will then stop it from appearing in the list um, you can also in, in the case uh, in case you want to delete an event completely you can delete it by just 
typing, uh, t typing delete in capital letters in to the cap title, and you can then delete by clicking update. You can then delete the event which will just delete that new news item we put in, just to show you how it works. So you just type in there, delete and update and the record's gone. Okay, so that's how the news and events work. Um, the, you can optimize your database tables which will remove any overheads on the tables to keep the tables all nice and clean and working effectively. Um, and that's your management. You can change your admin password from here and you can set up a new setup key here as well and then you log in, log out. So we've now logged out and then you can log in again from there. Um, and the control panel just sits in a subfolder of your main mobilized site. Okay, so that's it. The install guide is uh, included in the package um, and it's nice and easy to configure all these um, colors and uh, so on there. Let me just log back in again. Just one other thing you can do. Just log in. On your news or events, you can use some um, HTML if you wish, as long as it doesn't involve any quotes. So um, if you want to bold a test image, you can just put your um, B and minus, uh, let you, uh, stop B there around the test image. And then once you dis it displays on the site, that will then be bolded. And you can do a similar thing with italic. So if we wanted this in italic, we could just put minus on update. And now that little piece of text is in italic. So you can do some uh, some HTML in the um, description if you wish. Okay, so that's it. Um, look for it on the site. It's uh, very reasonable and it contains both the news and events in the one package. So have fun and enjoy. Your dreams, it's amazing, it's amazing.